All right, let's talk about what sold yesterday on eBay. It was February 15th, 2023. I only did 212 or $21.12 on eBay. A lot of low value items, as you're going to see in a few minutes. Uh, on the flip side, I made 146 on Amazon, so that's good. It's nice to see things balance out. Uh, and that's basically just from console sales. Uh, one Wii and then one expensive video game on Amazon. So even though uh, my 221 number is very low, way lower than I want to be, much lower than my monthly average per day, it's offset a little bit by uh, a good day on Amazon. So let's get right into the sales and we'll talk about uh, each one and then hopefully you can learn from these in some way. So Crime and Punishments is the first one. It's a Sherlock Holmes game. PS3 sealed, got this in a buyout I was doing, sold for $28.49. I had this listed for 50 bucks for, I think I got it last March, so quite a long time. And then I finally went through and lowered a lot of prices um, after Christmas this year, because I was like, oh, or, you know, I gotta sell some stuff in, uh, in January. So not a great sale, you know, two, uh, 28 bucks and 49 cents. I think I paid about $3 for it probably in the whole collection. So still profitable. Um, but for these seal games that are not, especially like the niche titles, I do like to get closer to 50 bucks if the market allows that. Then we've got a OEM Wii base sold for 755. I just upped the price on these. I've sold 12 so far. I upped the price to 995, and I should make about five bucks uh, on every sale, not including cost of goods, because the cost of goods on these, it's, I essentially say it's zero. Um, I'm getting these off of Wii's I'm buying in lots or just on auction sometimes. And uh, I'm not, I don't think the price is really impacted um, by having a stand or not. So I pull, I, I try and piece out the Wii's as much as I can. Um, perhaps I'll talk about that in my other channel, just like my video game strategy, because it is changing and I think it's getting better. Uh, but for now, I'll just say that, yeah, it's sold and I've sold 12 of them since I began. Uh, piecing them out individually, and my goal is to build up a really strong title um, for this listing, need a lot of traffic, and uh, hopefully it leads to more sales. Did I just skip one? Yes. Harbor Lights, this little light of mine. These were a thrift store find from like a year and a half ago. This is the last one. Little light of mine, Barnegat, New Jersey. Uh, I think it was a little Ziploc bag filled with eight of these lighthouses. I might have one more left. Uh, but I paid $9, I think, with tax for that bag of lighthouses. And I probably made 100 bucks. This probably puts me over 100 bucks uh, in terms of total sales on those. Little collectible lighthouse things. I feel like lighthouses are a good niche to look out for. Lighthouses, I look for cats, I look for owls uh, when I go to thrift stores in like the knickknack section uh, because people like to collect that kind of stuff. Lighthouses are cool, you know, it reminds you of the ocean, and the ocean is nice. Or where I'm from, lakes. I love going to the lighthouses in, um, in northern Michigan. That'd be a great product, like a, a calendar or a book of lighthouses. Maybe that could be something for a different channel. Then we have Mafia 2 on Xbox 360. So this right here, you see the Roman numeral 2 and the Arabic numeral 2. Did I say numeral? I did. Numeral. <laughs> um, I don't like that. It looks really bad to me, but I think it does help with search results because people are either going to be t typing in two or II, you know, for two. Um, really great condition. I was tempted to do like new, uh, but in my experience doing like new on video games is asking for trouble because I am always going to miss something. You know, maybe there's a fleck of paint on the interior of the case. It's just um, very good, keeps your bases covered. Uh, and I still got $15.15 .15 for this, which is, um, I think that's even above the Amazon price, which is good. I've been getting better about pricing my items higher. You know, not, now that I have more inventory, I can really make up for having higher prices just because the amount of things for sale is, uh, I, don't, I haven't checked video games, but last I checked it was 1,700 video games and I listed I think 100 last night and 40 this morning, so we're probably close to 2,000 active video game listings right now. Uh, then we had Mortal Kombat, DC Universe, uh, Greatest Hits, complete with manual. This is kind of an interesting story. The buyer messaged me and said, hey, can I see the back of the disc? And I said, sorry, I, don't, I can't accommodate special requests, but I've got 7,000 sales and 100% positive feedback, so 
you can trust that I'm not trying to scam you. And if for some reason it doesn't play, then I'll uh, pay for the return. Um, and that was enough to close the deal. So I, you don't always have to be really accommodating of your customers. You can just tell them the truth sometimes, assuming you, you, know, you can back it up with a, a good service. Then we have My Word Coach, Nintendo Wii Learning Game. 850 again a lot of these uh, and I, I think I mentioned this yesterday but everything here is free shipping this international shipping is just because uh, of the workflow I'm using to get these screenshots uh, 850 I paid probably two bucks for this game um, making some money but it really I would really prefer just to take all these games one of these days when I am ahead of schedule I want to go through and do an inventory check maybe I should really pencil it in for the end of Q, Q1 to do like just re revamp all my inventory and pull out the stuff that needs to be auctioned off and make sure that there aren't dead listings because there probably are. Then we have NBA Street. Again, I don't like this title. It was probably a sell similar. Um, definitely it was based on the background. This was probably from August of 2022. I took this picture. Uh, if I was doing this again, I would not have these exclamation points, and I would say black label complete with manual. I think that's a, a, a tighter title. Uh, 1895. So I, again, I made probably about 10 bucks on this game after cost of goods, and these are the kind of things that just like in in volume, you know, 54, 15 dollar sales a day is like 840 bucks revenue. Um, so it's just like. If you can get your your systems in a way where you're just picking the inventory and I don't have to go and refinish discs or clean discs or anything, then these sales are scalable. Uh, but it just really matters how much volume you can get. This is a Wii Nunchuck that sold for nine forty five. That's the little I don't have any around, but it's the little extension to the um to the Wii Mote that you use for a lot of games. Uh, I do not know why this is the picture. That's odd. Maybe that's a. Uh, it just didn't load, and that's like the the um, picture tag or the image tag. I don't know. Uh, Nine forty-five. I'll make about five bucks on this, and I'm. I think that I'm almost out. I know that I've sold out all of my Wiimotes, and I think I only have three of the nunchucks left. But over there, I've got a pile full of uh, Wii accessories that have to be sorted out and either turned into bundles, which I'll talk about that later, um, but they have to be processed. That's what you need to know right now. Then we've got Rhino Dillo's Tire Liners, Prevent Flat Tires. These I bought these at a thrift store because I scanned the barcode on Amazon. Um, and then after I researched it, this was like five years ago, okay? And after I researched it, I realized, oh, crap, this company um, – does a lot of IP complaints. And I could tell that by going to the Keepa listing and see the number of third-party sellers. And like every few weeks or few months, I don't remember exactly, it would go down to one. And that one seller would be Rhino Dillos or whoever the manufacturer is. And so it's just been sitting in my warehouse for years and years and years. Uh, I think I listed it in probably November. Uh, sold for eighteen ninety five, free shipping, and it'll ship for under a pound, so like probably five bucks. Again, just like I think I paid two bucks for it, so profitable, but about the worst way you can sell something. Star Wars Empire at War seven ninety one. I paid a dollar for this game and a lot of PC games, and I bought it because there was a Leisure Suit Larry PC game that I sold for fifty bucks, I think. So I made my money back almost immediately, and then everything else on top of that is just, like, gravy. Um, again, if I were to do this in the future, knowing the prices of the games, uh, because at the time I really had no knowledge at all of PC game prices, i just auction them all off and make a quarter or, or 50 cents per, because at seven ninety one, I think I'm only making about a dollar fifty profit, maybe a little bit more than that, but it's, it's a negligible amount. Another cheap, cheap PC game, Super Solver Spellbound, uh, 851. Uh, it's just, well, can I say that's the reason? I mean, that, that's not the reason I only, I only made uh, 221 yesterday. But um, when you make a bunch of eight dollar sales, you're not going to make a lot of money. Again, 665. Tell me about Jesus by Mary Alice Jones. Uh, I picked up this in the hoarder buyout. So I paid, like, I think it was, I mean, go back and watch the video. Well, it's on a different channel, but 
go to that channel and watch the video. I paid between like three and five hundred bucks. I can't remember if I paid three hundred bucks out the door, or if I paid three hundred bucks plus the cost of gas, boxes, and the van. Um, but this was just like I've already made back all of my money for sure on that. I, I that'd be a good video for the other channel. Is like how much I've made from the hoarder buyout. Uh, and every buck or two is just a way to get better feedback, a way to get recurring buyers. That's kind of how I look at these low value sales. One of the big benefits of low value sales is it allows you a chance to get recurring business. So maybe they buy this book the first time and then they buy a Bible for 40 bucks in a month. Um, it does happen, not often, about 2% of the time, I'd say, maybe less than that, depending on the category. It takes some digging on my part to know for sure. And we have the Black Eyed Peas. I think it's a dance game, uh, 945. This is with manual, very good condition. Again, small, low sales. I would, I What I've been doing recently is bundling up these games. So what I would probably do now that I've got two in stock, the next time I get this game, and I do, I just bought 100 Wii games. No, I bought 175 Wii games for approximately $3 a game. Uh, so what I think I'll do next is bundle this with like Just Dance or uh, whatever other dance games there were for Wii. Because the Wii, really, uh, if you get those dance games, you can bundle them up and sell them for between 5 and 12 bucks a piece when they're added all together. Then we've got WWE WrestleMania. Probably would have been in my best interest to replace this um, this man, uh, the, the cover. This looks like personal property of someone some weirdo was putting giant stickers across the front of their video games or maybe it's like an annex or a library no it says personal property so it's a person's property uh 10 40, 40 acceptable which means no manual and probably based on the picture i would guess i listed this in august so there's a good chance that disc is all scuffed up and it's going to take like four to eight minutes on this machine here which is annoying i don't have time for that <laughs> Uh, then we've got Xbox One Halo 5 Guardians. I, I'm kind of confused about these Xbox One and PS4 games. Can you see that right there in the in the blurry picture that I'm uh, pointing towards with my cursor? That's an insert, not a manual, but I do not know what factory, uh, what it came from from the factory, like what every what all the inserts were. And so I'm saying they're very good, even though I'm not totally positive that it, uh, hits the eBay criteria that they recommend for very good. Um, potentially, I'm opening myself up to returns, saying, oh, I thought this had the manual. It was very good condition. Um, I think having the pictures uh, is helpful, and not saying with manual is helpful on that. If I do get a return, it's just going to be frustrating. It's not going to be the kind of thing that like makes this strategy of listing titles unprofitable. Um so I'm not worried about it, but I guess that was the, was that the last sale of the day? That was the last sale of the day. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen sales at two twenty one is like twelve dollars a sale. Oh, bad. That's bad. But uh, you know, whatever. Amazon was okay. Today, I think we're already at $125 on eBay, uh, and it's Thursday, so the weekend will be a lot better. So if I can hit like 500 bucks Friday, Saturday, Sunday on average, that'll make up for today being poor. Um, and that's the way you look at these businesses. You can't be short-term sighted. You have to be long-term, long goal-oriented. See you guys tomorrow.